Hello people, Gavin here at Hologram Productions. Today we're going to learn how to make some lo-fi house. This is a really good starting point for beginner producers because the elements are fairly simple. So let's begin with the Get a nice lo-fi sounding kick, ideally from a vinyl sample. Four to the floor. Also throw in the odd double note and the odd quarter note just to give it a bit more groove. I'm going to boost the bass fundamental. You'll notice that there isn't a lot of sub bass in this kick. You don't need much for this genre. Nice open hi-hat. Throw in a few quarter notes for the groove. Boost it about 5000 Hz to give it that lo-fi degradation. Nice meaty clap. Erosion gives it a bit more distortion. Always side chain to the kick, of course. Roll off everything above 20k Hz. Your 16th notes for extra groove. Again, boost at 5000. Cut off the lows. This next step is optional if you want to give a bit more brightness and a bit more groove in the top end. Get some drum samples and tighten the transients. Put them all into a drum group. Throw in a saturator. A lot of drive in the saturation gives it that lo-fi crunch. Use mid-side EQ to roll off any stereo on the low end. Okay, next step. Wavetable, saw, LFO on the pitch. Let's create a nice juicy chord and you can do it by adding a note here, there and clicking, um, sort of like putting that up there and yeah, you just, it, you know, and uh, well, screw it, just just drag it out, it'll work, grand. Couldn't have put it down a bunch of semitones until it sounds good, whatever. Effects rack, erosion, reverb, delay, all that. So I change the kick, as usual. Create an audio effects rack, reverb, delay, frequency. Now let's do the... Use analog for this. Draw 16 notes to begin with. You're following the root note of the chords in the pad. In the audio effects rack, you'll want to be able to manipulate the attack, the decay, the reverb, the frequency, and also the pitch. Add chorus to widen the sound, EQ, boost the bass a little bit, and add a bit of saturation and sidechain it to the kick. Use the mid-side EQ to put the bass in mono. Bass is pretty boring like this, so now let's carve out a groove. Make the notes hit on the offbeat. Put some notes up and down like little uh, embellishments. Having these macros allows you to manipulate the sounds live, because you want to get used to live recording your arrangements. That's good, but it's not a lo-fi tune until we've chucked in a whole bunch of... What do we got? An idea. What idea? An idea for the show. I, I still don't know what the idea is. It's about muffins. Cheesy sitcom samples are an absolute staple for lo-fi. I think you may have something here. Speaking of nothing, throw in a Whitney Houston vocal sample. But for licensing reasons, let's get an a cappella by someone else. Let's see if this Marcos bloke is any good. I came around from myself, there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, not bad. Let's chop him up a bit. Remember the sound of the PS2 made on startup? Should be perfect for a lo-fi track.
Cool, so now let's stick with the PS2 sample and let's use it to throw in more. A lot of great stuff here. And coincidentally it's all in key, didn't even need to change it. Notice on the EQ just boosting the highs, just give it a bit more brightness. Technically cheating for lo-fi because you're supposed to roll off the highs on everything, but sod it. Now let's use all these clips in session view to record an arrangement. Go to the Seinfeld samples. There's this. There's that. It's about Go to the pad. Let's play around with the filter. Why not play the other one? I think it sounds the same. Throw in a bit of nothing. Whitney Houston. Well, the bloke trying to be Whitney Houston. Bit nothing. Come on, bring in more drums, more brightness, more stuff. It's all sounding tight. Really don't know why I'm talking over this. I'm just going to do it quietly now. Sounded good, so I'm going to use that to carve out an arrangement later. One element I forgot about is to throw in like a vinyl sound effect to go over the whole track, which you can do, but you can also just do without it. Oh, by the way, for copyright reasons, uh, if you do intend to release a track like this on a label, it's probably better not to use obvious copyright copywritten samples. It's probably better that you just search the internet and... Get creative. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Would you subscribe to that? I would. I